We've already done Article 10, so we move to Article 11, Capital Stabilization Equipment. The motion reads, move that the town transfer from capital stabilization $93,000 for capital expenses associated with equipment capital, capital equipment to the town departments. And they are command vehicle for the fire department, $50,000. Version 7.0 software and computers for the assessors, $8,000. Computers within town hall, uh, $25,000. In ammunition for the police department, $10,000. Do I have a motion? Second. Um, I believe Mr. Mori would like to speak to this. Hi again. So as everyone knows, the town has a joint capital planning committee. What that means is all the departments in town and the schools, they get together and they bring their capital request and they're reviewed by this committee. The committee met and this for, cap this, um, for this annual town meeting, they actually recommended two articles. The article we're talking about now and the next article. Um, so the article now is to fund for the command vehicle for the fire department. This was in the governor's budget, Governor Deval Patrick's budget. and. Uh, we did not move fast enough and spend the money fast enough, and the governor took it back. Uh, it might be in the next budget. We don't know yet, but, so, but we still need to pay for the vehicle. Um, so that's this our item. There's some software for the assessor, which makes, keeps the assessing process going correctly. Um, we're also trying to upgrade some of our computers in the town hall. Um, we actually have a wide range of computers in town hall. I think town hall actually has older computers than I have in my house, and I have a I have a pretty old one. Uh, I still have one that has Windows 95 on it. Um, so we also have uh, ammunition for the police department, and that's for their annual recertification and training exercise, which we put into this article. So those are the four items, and that's kind of the process it goes through, and that's the process that the next article also goes through. Thank you, Chairman Mori. Any other questions? This is a two-thirds majority because it's capital. All in favor, signify with your green card. Opposed? Unanimous, 142 to zero. Article 12. Once again, it's a capital. General fund borrowing. Um, there's two motions here. I'll read both of them. At once, Joel, or one at a time? Okay, we'll go do one at a time. The first motion, move that the town appropriate $65,000 for the purchase, uh, for the purpose of purchasing a school bus for the school department, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet the appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the select board, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to Chapter 44, Section 7, 9 of the general laws, and pursuant to any other enabled authority to issue bonds or notes of the town, therefore, provided, however, that the vote taken under hereunder shall be explicitly contingent upon approval by the voters to exclude the amounts to pay for the bonds or notes authorized for this purpose from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half, so called. Do I have a motion? Second? Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please signify with your green card. Opposed? Passes 142 to zero. Motion number two, move that the town appropriate $42,000 for the pur purpose of purchasing a police cruiser for the police department, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow set amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 7, 9 of the general laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the town therefore provided however 
that the vote taken here under shall be expressly contingent upon approval by the voters to exclude the amounts to pay for the bonds or notes authorized for this purpose from the prov provisions of Proposition 2 and a half. Do I have a motion? Second. Any questions about the motion? Edwin. Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge Street. So both of these are going to go to a Proposition 2 and a half vote. If it passes, what will that do to the tax rate? Dilford Morin. So on the first motion, if it passes, your tax rate will go up 0 0.0168 dollars. So less than, just over a penny it will go up. Um, on the second one, the police department, if you uh, vote for that one, it will go up uh, one penny roughly. So that's the impact when you go to the vote. Two cents. Two cents, 2.5 cents total. Per thousand. Per thousand, yes, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Morin. Any other questions rega regarding this article in motion? All in favor, signify with your green card. Opposed? One opposed. So 141 to 1. I lost my green card. All right. Uh, article 13 Parcel Surveys. Motion, move that the town transfer from capital stabilization $9,950 to survey the following municipal buildings. Town Hall, DPW, Russell School, Senior Center. And the addresses, I guess I should read that. Town Hall is 100 middle, DPW is 230 middle, Russell School is 135, and the Senior Center is 46 Middle Street. Do I have a motion? Second. Any questions about the motion for Article 13? David Tudrin, Municipal Building Committee. Thank you. David Tudrin, 346 River Drive. Just to clarify our intent here, uh, we currently do not have surveys for these properties. Um, so we hope in, in our efforts to determine what the best use of some of our projects and facilities are uh, to at least have the surveys so that we have enough information to move forward. Thank you, David. And I'd like to take the time right now to thank everyone who's on that committee. As a volunteer committee, they have put in immense amount of hours up to this point. Now back to the motion. Any further questions? We will move the question. All in favor, signify with your green card. Opposed? 142 to 0. Article 14, asbestos abatement. Motion reads, move that the town transfer from free cash $31,000 and further transfer from capital stabilization $34,000 to pay for additional expenses related to the asbestos removal within town hall. Do I have a motion? I have a second. Any questions? Uh, Tim Nyhard, Municipal Building Committee. Thank you. Third, for hundred thousand dollars to uh, remove the asbestos in the town hall. Unfortunately, uh, when we what we did was we realized that this project was an immense, complicated project. So with the help of the select board, we went out and got professional services to, to help us through this entire process, extremely complicated. We have hired a good uh, design and construction administrative service that came in, wrote up the specs, worked everything out, and, and presented us a budget. They also did some testing. We realized through those tests that one of the things that we need to remove, not just the uh, tile, but we're going to have to remove the, uh, the first layer of subflooring. 
In some of the areas, there actually are two layers of subflooring, but under that is the actual uh, original flooring, which we like to protect. But we need to remove that because it is contaminated also. And the other, uh, there was one other item that we, uh, after talking with the uh, professionals, we realized that we we're way under budget was the moving of all the uh, furniture and everything that needs to be done in order for the floors to happen. So when all the numbers came up, it was well over the $100,000. And we unfortunately have to come back to you guys to ask for $65,000 so we can go forward with this project in July. Uh, and just so you all know, if you, and we hope that you uh, approve this, Town Hall will be closed most of July and we will be, uh, be over at the public safety complex while the work is being uh, performed. Any other questions? Thank you, Tim. Thank you. I saw her getting up. <laughs> Michelle Morris Friedman, 45 Roosevelt Street. I support um, taking care of the asbestos problem, but I have a question. This is written in a very unusual way. Transfer from free crash, transfer from capital stabilization, or otherwise provide a sum of money. I don't think I've ever seen something written like that. Can you explain? This is uh, the articles to put uh, people on notice that we're going to be asking for a sum of money. At the time that we were uh, crafting the article, uh, we weren't entirely sure of what uh, funds we would be using, what was the best use of the taxpayer dollar. So we, we wrote the article casting the net wide so we could have maximum options to further study the issue and then we, we settled on a funding mechanism. And that's the reason why you see that language uh, like that, because we just weren't quite settled on this article until the last minute. Thank you. Funding? The, the, the funding, as stated in the motion, is $31,000 from free cash and to further transfer $34,000 from the capital stabilization to pay for the additional expenses related to the asbestos removal at Town Hall. So 31,000 from free cash, 34,000 from capital stabilization. Any other questions? All in favor of the motion, signify with your green card. Opposed? Is that an opposed? Are you 141 to one?